my name is Talicia Jackson. I'm a third year at the University of South Carolina, and today we're going to go over strep tests. So here's what the strep test looks like. Um, this is the actual test. It comes with this applicator and this solution. This test allows for rapid detection of group A streptococcal antigens directly from the patient's throat swab specimens. So what you want to do is you want to have the patient say, ah, sit out their tongue, and then you want to collect a sample of saliva. The streptococcal bacteria affects the back of the throat and the tonsils, so be sure to swab those areas. You're going to insert it into the test. Then with the solution, you want to break the two blue little things inside of the solution. Then take the top off, and you want to pour all of the solution into the test. Okay. So it takes a couple seconds, but you will be able to see that the saliva and the solution mix are going to rise, as it's doing right now. And so it's going to show red lines. So if there are two red lines, then it would be a positive for strep A. But if there's just one line, then it would be a false for strep, and they don't have it. If the red line appears at the C, then the test is negative. But if it appears at the T, it means the test is invalid, and it must be done again. So if it does appear that they have strep A, you want them to go to a physician as soon as they can to get antibiotics so that they can get rid of their strep. So, thank you.